So we got a 1920 by 1080 p full HD, 60 FPS web camera with built-in ring light. Review coming your way right now. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Nexicam N960E web camera. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Also, while you're at it, check out the other Nexicam web camera review videos on my channel. So, first up, you can see the retail box and packaging right here. They walk us through a bunch of tech specs and product features right on the packaging, and we have their customer service and contact information. So, this features a 180 degree webcam clip, tripod ready design, plug and play free driver, 360 degree webcam rotation. This is a 1920 by 1080p full HD web camera with built in ring light, which is really cool. This is also 60 FPS, so our video frame rate is 60 frames per second. We have a three level adjustable built in light with touch control, autofocus, built in dual stereo microphones, 90 degree horizontal viewing angle, 70 millimeter to infinity focal length, and this does include a privacy cover as well. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have a warranty card followed by your user guide and manual complete with the QR code for you to scan for more information. You can see complete setup and installation instructions right here. We also have Windows and Mac settings on the back side with additional Q&A for you. Next, you can see we have an included USB to USB type C adapter followed by the webcam itself right here with our USB type A plug right there. You can see, check it out, we have our tripod ready stand and base, so we can attach this to a tripod. You can see the light and our touch controls right here. We have our built-in privacy cover too, lens cover, shutter, whatever you wanna call it. Really nice, it is a manual shutter for additional privacy and protection, autofocus, Full HD, 1080p, 60 FPS, webcam. You can see that right there. With the Nexigo logo and branding, this will just mount on any monitor or laptop. You can see the design, very simple. We can tilt down. You can see how far you can tilt down the webcam and we can rotate it 360 degrees, as you see right here. So not much in regards to being able to tilt it back besides, you know, adjusting the stand accordingly, but you can definitely, once you have it mounted, tilt it down to make any fine-tuned adjustments. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. So here we go, I got the webcam plugged in and powered on. This is the raw camera mic audio right here. The only settings I tweaked was within Windows in the sound panel. I went ahead and I adjusted the input volume up for this microphone, so for the webcam and the built-in mics, from 50 by default to 75 just so you guys could hear a little bit more of the sound. You can adjust that yourself from zero to 100, depending on maybe your voice and what it's set to, and maybe your room and environment, the sensitivity, that sort of thing. So by default for me on a Windows 10 PC, when I plugged it in, the setting was set to 50. That was a little bit too quiet, so I went ahead and I bumped it up to 75. This is the raw 1080p 60 FPS video as well too. And obviously the room's being illuminated right now by my studio lights. But you can see how everything looks right here with the Nexigo webcam, 1920, 1080p, full HD, 60 FPS, raw mic audio. Now let's go ahead, let's test out that built-in light. So I have my studio lights turned off right here and the only light in the room right now is a little bit of light peeking through the window blinds and I have four computer monitors directly behind the web camera that are casting some light here for it to pick up. So. The ring light is turned off right now. The built-in light is not on. We have three different brightness settings. So let's go ahead, let's turn on the first one. So here we go, you can see we have the light on. It's the first setting for it. Check that out, see how it looks. Then we can bump it up. This is our middle setting right here, our middle brightness. Definitely adding to it. And you can see guys, in this low light environment, it's having a little bit of trouble focusing as fast as it would if you had a bunch of light here, but still very responsive, better than I would anticipate given the harsh lighting environment right here. Now we can go ahead, we can turn on the max brightness right there. That is really bright to look at, especially 
for me as it's contrasted by, you know, a dark room basically. Probably a little bit too bright to look at if you're gonna be doing really long calls. So I'd encourage you not to have to use the maximum brightness setting, but it is nice that this light is bright enough to really cast a lot of light. So now you can see it's off. Look at the difference that that makes. Now it's on again. So our low light, middle light, and our maximum light right there. Pretty big difference between all three. Even that low one just helps to add a little bit more glow to me. Middle and then super bright right there with the built-in light. Now with the lights off, I wanted to show you guys how bright the light is if you're looking at it from the studio cameras. So you can see right here, I'm shining it on the table. That's our maximum brightness. We can turn it off. Here's the first light setting, our minimum brightness. There's our middle brightness. There's our maximum brightness. So let's do that again. On one, on two, on three, back off. On one, on two, on three, back off. So you can see how bright that is, is it's gonna illuminate my face. Here's two, check that out. And here's three, really bright for three. Check that out, pretty cool, right? Off, on, on, and on maximum right there. So pretty cool built-in ring light with this webcam. Now, just for fun, you can see I got the webcam installed further back so you can get a feel for what it's like here in my studio. I actually have it resting on a 32-inch LG computer monitor and all is well there. I'd like to see on the back, the stand have a little bit of like a fold up lip so it can really um, hold tight and fast against the top of the monitor, but it's working just fine. I also realized too, I was having to reach across the table to make adjustments, but I kept finding myself bumping the light button as I was trying to tilt the camera down to get it in a proper position. So keep that in mind. Obviously, if you're doing something like I am where you're reaching really far away to have the camera, probably gonna bump that button a lot. But if it's just right next to you on your computer monitor, you won't have any issues holding the base and making adjustments, but just something to keep in mind right there. Now for fun, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip the switch for the shutter. So there we go, now we have the privacy cover enacted. You can't see me, but you can still hear me, but that's pretty cool, very easy to do. Let's go ahead, let's bring that back. And ta-da, there we go, we're back in frame with the webcam. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after reviewing this webcam. First thing I wanna say is compared to the N930E, this webcam is a drastic improvement. I am impressed with how they've continued to build upon the audio and mic quality, as well as the brightness of the ring light, especially in that small form factor. This is really a bright light and I'm impressed with what they were able to improve and build upon. That being said, at this price, it's super competitive since you get full 1080p HD video and 60 FPS. 60 FPS is gonna be important to those content creators and streamers out there. In the future, obviously I'd still like to have, you know, even better audio, better autofocus. I'd love to see some RGB colors added. I think that would be really cool. Maybe refine the controls for the light as well too. I just, for some reason, always bump into the touch panel when I'm trying to adjust the webcam. I don't know, I just feel like I naturally grab it that way and turn it on or off. Again, not that big of a deal, but that could just be user error for how I typically handle my technology and the webcams I use. Also, on that note, I would love to see maybe a slight improvement to the stand. This is coming from somebody that uses a lot of Logitech webcams. I'd like to see the ability on the stand arm that goes on the back side of the monitor to be able to adjust that to tip out, to be able to really grip and provide good um, traction and grip to the back side of your monitor if that's how you're gonna be mounting this webcam. I'd love to see that in the future too, but it is tripod ready, it works great, it's jam packed full of a lot of great features. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel? We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.